in this lesson i will explain to you empirical probability first i will explain to you what is empirical probability and then again we will solve some questions in order to understand it so empirical probability is the probability based on data collected through an experiment or observation this is the most important point of the empirical probability that we collect data through an experiment or observations we cannot collect data only on the basis of estimation or approximation we collect data we observe data on the basis of experiment or observation these probabilities are found by dividing the number of times an event occurred in an experiment by the total number of trials or observation now what does it mean what is the formula to calculate the empirical probability dividing the number of times an event occurred suppose if i say that there were 10 patients whose diastolic blood pressure was 80 and which is normal there were 12 patient whose diastolic blood pressure was 110 right so total how many patients i observe 22 so it is based on the observation or experiment i check i observe 22 patients out of 22 i figure out that 10 have blood pressure 80 diastolic blood pressure so 10 divide if i say i want to calculate the probability empirical probability so in the numerator i have to write down 10 and then divided by 2 i am going to calculate that 10 patients out of 22 the same thing these probabilities are found by dividing the number of times an event occurred in an experiment by the total number of trials so total number of observation or total number of trials were 22 out of which i found that 10 patients had 80 diastolic blood pressure was 80 80 right so empirical probability is based on observation or experiment empirical probability relies on actual experience again actual experience to determine the likelihood of outcomes it does not depend on the estimation or approximation it is based on an experiment and the formula for empirical probability is p e e means event is equal to frequency for the class divided by total frequencies in the distribution just like i said suppose 10 were had the 80 blood pressure total observations were 22 so 10 over 22 here i have made a very simple examples suppose kidney transplant patient is stayed in hospital for the following number of days there were 12 patients who stayed 5 days in the hospital there were 20 patients who stayed 8 days in the hospital similarly there were 16 patient who stayed 9 days in the hospital so total frequency total number of patients were 83 if i say individually by using this formula what is the probability that patient stayed 5 days 5 days in the hospital so we will write down 12 divided by 83 right probability of 8 how many patient stayed 8 days in the hospital 20 divided by 83 see frequency divided by total number of trials or observation 12 how many patient stayed 12 days in the hospital 15 divided by 83 and so on last is 16 divided by 83 a little bit modification to this the same example here i have mentioned that patient stayed less than 9 days less than 9 days so see you have to consider these two you have to consider these two there are four right less than 9 so here 12 divided by 83 plus 20 divided by 83 7 divided by 83 and then 13 divided by 83 you have to add all these four patients stayed less than 9 days now patient stayed at most 6 days so in the previous example patient exact 5 days patient stayed 8 days but in the next example at most 6 days it means you have to add 5 and 6 both 12 divided by 83 13 divided by 83 and then you can simplify it add or simplify add and simplify patient stayed at least 12 days 
so this is the 12 days how many patient 15 15 divided by 83 right another example blood type of people suppose there were total i observed 54 people so we have taken the sample of 54 people and realize and observe that 12 people have a b 20 o 15 people have a and 7 b so people have a b if i say people have a b 12 divided by 54 on the basis of empirical formula 20 for o 20 divided by 54 a 15 divided by 54 and people have b 7 divided by 54 very simple a little bit more modification to the same example if i say people have a b or o so you have to consider these two 12 by 54 plus 20 by 54 then you can simplify it add these two divided by 54 because the denominator is same so only you have to add the numerator and then simplify people have o or a so now you have to consider these two 20 over 54 and 15 over 54 this one third scenario is people have neither a nor b these neither a nor b it means they have a b or o so 12 divided by 54 or 20 divided by 54 the last is people have not b so maybe they have a b o or a so this is a little bit different formula one because the total the frequency lies between zero to one so one minus probability of b and the probability of b is 7 divided by 54 you can simplify it then you will get 87 if i want answer in percentage multiply by 100 then you will get 87 percent so we will say the probability of not b people do not have b 87 percent it means 13 percent have b but 87 percent they don't have b right so in this lesson you have learned the empirical probability empirical probability is based on observations and experience and the formula is probability of event is equal to frequency divided by total number of trials if still you have any question you can write down in comment section please do not forget to subscribe to my channel sci academy and thanks for watching